Magnetos are required to be inspected at 500 hour intervals. The magneto inspection consists of several inspections of individual components, including the case, coil, capacitor, breaker points, distributor gear, and distributor block. Inspection of the case. Inspect both housings for cracks, strip threads, or other damage. Check the bearing outer race seats in both housings for wear or peening due to operation with loose bearings. Perform a fluorescent penetrant inspection on the magneto housing and cover. Discard the housing if cracks are found. Inspect the coil seat area in the magneto housing for wear. Replace the housing if evidence of corrosion is found. The first step of the coil inspection is ensuring the coil matches current design specifications. This information will be found in the manufacturer's maintenance manual. The original coil in this magneto did not conform to the current design standards. The next step is to visually inspect the coil. Inspect the iron core laminations for wear at the point of contact. If wear is found, the coil must be replaced. Visually inspect the coil leads for attachment or insulator damage. Inspect the tab on the coil for wear caused by contact with the carbon brush. Wear is indicated by a depression on the tab. A repair exists for the tab if a depression is found. Visually inspect the case of the coil for cracks. If cracks are found, the coil must be discarded. The electrical inspection. Using a multimeter, check the resistance of both coil windings. On this specific coil, the primary winding should be between 0.2 and 0.6 ohms and the secondary winding should be between 12,000 and 16,000 ohms. If either winding is not in specifications, replace the coil. The capacitor inspection. Visually inspect the capacitor mounting bracket for cracks and security. Check the capacitor lead for damaged insulation or loose terminal connections. If damage is evident or terminals are loose, discard the capacitor. Using a capacitor tester, Measure the capacitance and leakage. Capacitance at room temperature should be 0.375 microfarads within 10% margin of error. The leakage rate at 400 volts DC should be below 0.4 milliamps. The breaker points inspection starts with examining the contact points for wear or burning. Discard and replace the assembly if the contact points are deeply pitted or burned. Check the condition of the cam follower felt. Squeeze the felt tightly between your thumb and forefinger. If no oil residue is left behind on your fingers, lubricate the felt with two to three drops of oil. The specific type of oil will be laid out in the manufacturer's maintenance manual. Too much oil on the felt may cause the contact points to burn excessively. Check the magneto internal timing using a buzz box and a pointer tool. The security of the leads from the coil and the capacitor should also be checked. Gear inspection. The first step of the gear inspection is to determine if the gear is of the most recent design. Continue the inspection by looking for discoloration on the gear. Discoloration indicates an overheat condition inside the magneto and the gear would need to be replaced. Inspect the gear teeth looking for chips, missing or broken teeth. Remove all built up carbon from the gear axle, and electrode. Dimensionally inspect the electrode for size. The dimensions should be found in the manufacturer's maintenance manual. The gear from this magneto has been found to have a crack in the radial direction. Distributor block inspection. Examine the distributor block for cracks. Measure the inside diameter of the bushing. The specific diameter for your magneto will be found in the manufacturer's maintenance manual. Inspect the contact springs for burning, rust, corrosion. If found, remove and replace. Check the springs for proper height by measuring down from the top of the tower. Your specific measurement will be found in the manufacturer's maintenance manual. Using a small scraper, clean the distributor block electrodes to remove any carbon deposits. The distributor block is self-lubricating, therefore it needs to be impregnated with oil. Next is the procedure for impregnating the block with oil. Cork the bottom and fill the bushing with the distributor block lubricant. 
Bake the whole block at 250 degrees Fahrenheit in an oven for 4 hours. Allow the block to cool naturally. Remove the distributor block from the oven. Carefully remove the cork from the bottom and allow the excess oil to drain from the bushing. Using a clean, dry cloth, wipe all the possible oil from the inside diameter of the bushing. Install a new dry felt strip. In the groove on the electrode side of the block, install a new felt washer. Saturate the washer prior to installing with distributor block lubricant. Rotor inspection. The first step is to ensure the rotor is of current design. The rotor found in this magneto is not of current design. Visual inspection starts with verifying the threads are in good condition. Then inspect the rotor for cracks or any other surface defects. The bearing races will then be dimensionally inspected. If either race is not within dimensions, replace both races. This completes my demonstration of a magneto 500 hour inspection. Note this is only to be used for educational purposes, not in actually overhauling a magneto.